I'll answer the question. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You to. want answers? I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Did you order the code red? I did the job. Did you, you order the code red? You're goddamn right, I did. A few good men. Colonel, I have just one more question before I call Airman O'Malley and Airman Rodriguez. If you gave an order that Santiago wasn't to be touched, and your orders are always followed, then why would Santiago be in danger? Why would it be necessary to transfer him off the base? Santiago was a substandard Marine. He was being transferred. That's not what you said. You said he was being... Okay. So, right there, this is where you get a little lawyer theatrics, a little Hollywood. Generally, when you ask a question in the courtroom, you gotta keep your mouth shut and let that witness answer the question. So, if this were a real live courtroom activity here, what you'd probably be seeing right away is Kevin Bacon jumping up and objecting and saying, Your Honor, He's got to let the witness answer the question. But it's Hollywood, so he's going to get away with it. Or there's just some bad lawyering there by Kevin Bacon. Being transferred because he was in grave danger. That's correct. You said I... he was in danger. I said grave danger. You said, is there I any I recall other... what I, I said. I can have the court reporter read back to you. I know court. what I said. I don't have to have it read back to me like I'm... Why did the two record? orders? Colonel? Sometimes men take matters into their own hands. No, sir, you made it clear just a moment ago that your men never take matters in their own hands. Your men follow orders or people die. So Santiago shouldn't have been in any danger at all, should he have, Colonel? You snotty little Your Honor, I'd like to ask for a recess. I'd like an answer to the question, Judge. So right there you're seeing some pretty good lawyering from Kevin Bacon. He knows his witness is in trouble. Okay, Tom Cruise has got him trapped on this issue. He can tell his witness doesn't know what the heck to say, so... It's gonna ask the judge, hey, let's take a break so that I can confirm with my witness. It's gonna be pretty rare that a judge grants that request because typically the witness is gonna to have to answer that question before any kind of break is gonna be granted by the judge. Let's see what happens. The court will wait for an answer. And there you have it. The court's saying, uh-uh, he's on the stand, he's gonna answer the question. If Lieutenant Kendrick gave an order that Santiago wasn't to be touched, then why did he have to be transferred? Colonel? Lieutenant Kendrick ordered the code red, didn't he? Because that's what you told Lieutenant Kendrick to do. Object! And when it went bad, you cut cases. these guys loose! Your Honor, you had Marcus inside a bony transfer. Your Honor, you doctored the logbook. Damn it, Captain! You coerced the doctor. Consider Your yourself Honor, in contempt. You. Colonel Jessup, did you order the code red? You don't have to answer that question. Generally, a judge is going to want to have very firm control over their courtroom. Okay. What Tom Cruise is doing here, probably not going to fly with most judges the moment he starts screaming and yelling and hooting and hollering. The judge is going to shut him down. And even heard the judge is going to hold him in contempt and then does hold him in contempt. But what does that mean? Because people throw that word around all the time. It means he could be paying a fine. It means he could be spending some time in jail. That doesn't really play out in the movie, but that's what happens when a judge tells you you're in contempt. It's not good for the lawyer. I'll answer the question. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! And we have to pause there because this is Jack and that's one of the best scenes ever. And I think everybody knows that line from this movie. It's one of my favorites. I love movies. And, you know, I think Tom Cruise maybe is better suited to the Top Gun type stuff. I don't know how, my, how I feel about him as a lawyer in court, but Jack just nails this as, as Colonel Jessup. Son, we live in a world that has walls, and those walls have to be guarded by men with guns. Who's going to do it? You? You, Lieutenant Weinberg? I have a greater responsibility than you can possibly fathom. You weep for Santiago, and you curse the Marines. You have that luxury. You have the luxury of not knowing what I know, that Santiago's death, while tragic, probably saved lives. And my existence, while grotesque and incomprehensible to you, saves lives. You don't want the truth because deep down in places you don't talk about at parties. You want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. We use words like honor, code, loyalty. We use these words as the backbone of a life spent defending something. You use them as a punchline. I have neither the time nor the inclination to explain myself to a man who rises and sleeps under the blanket of the very freedom that I provide and then questions the manner in which I provide it. 
I would rather you just said thank you and went on your way. Otherwise, I suggest you pick up a weapon and stand a post. Either way, I don't give a damn what you think you are entitled to. So what do you notice about that? Separate and apart from the fact that it's just incredible Jack going off on the stand. What's the one thing that he didn't do? He didn't answer the question. The question was, did he order the code red? Should have been answered with a yes or a no. Now, if this was a real courtroom proceeding, what a real lawyer would have done is there's no way in heck that a lawyer would have just let Jack go on and on and on about what he was talking about because that wasn't helping his case. He would have immediately stopped him and asked the judge to instruct him to answer the question that was on the table, which was, did you order the code red? Tom Cruise doesn't do that here because we're in Hollywood and we want to see Jack go. That's not going to fly in a courtroom. Sometimes though, if the witness is going on and on and it's helping your case, well, you just let him roll. But here it's not helping, so Tom Cruise should have shut him down, asked the judge for an instruction. Did you order the code red? I did the job. Did you said. order the code red? You're goddamn right I did! Please, the court, I suggest the members be dismissed so that we can move to an immediate Article 39A session. The witness has rights. Captain Ross. Jack? The members of the court will retire to an ante room until further instructed. All rise. So it's interesting what's happening here. Jack, or Colonel Jessup, has essentially just admitted that he's committed a crime because he had denied ordering this code red. Maybe he's got some perjury stuff going on. I'm not a military lawyer, but he's basically just admitted to a crime. And so Tom Cruise is kind of doing the right thing here. He's stopping the proceedings because we all have rights in this country, even if we're accused of crimes. He's putting a halt to it so that uh, Colonel Jessup can be read his rights. That's exactly the right thing to do. This way, anything he says after that, you know, potentially could still be admissible in court. Another thing that's very interesting is earlier on in the scene, Tom Cruise talks about how he's going to have these airmen come in and testify that this certain flight took place, okay, because Jessup has had it erased from the logbooks, both from the departing base uh, at Guantanamo to wherever that flight was arriving. I forget where that is off the top of my head. Now, Tom Cruise makes a representation to the court that these witnesses are going to come in and they're going to testify that this flight takes place. Now later, you find out at the end of the proceeding when he's talking to Kevin Bacon, these guys weren't there, they weren't going to testify to anything. Now, if Colonel Jessup hadn't massacred himself on the, state, on the stand and these guys ended up testifying, that could be a real problem for Tom Cruise because he is now given kind of false information to the court that he knew was false at the time. So what would have really happened had that all gone down that way? Those guys never would have testified because then Tom Cruise would have been in some serious trouble for falsely telling the court that he had some witnesses that were gonna say something that he knew they were never gonna say.